celebrate the National Autism Day in this school, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to Shadrach Kimalel Mixed Day Secondary School here in Kibra. Thank you uh, for uh, making us a host to, uh, to host you on this honorable uh, day where we are handling a special need of our children in the society. In fact, uh, Shadrach is one of the partners and we want to thank Mali Therapy for coming on board and requesting us to host them here so that we can uh, give back to the community uh, of Kibra, uh, uh, Kibra, uh, Kibra community and all the environ and even out of Kibra. All are coming, we advertised, we send a word and we are happy when we see the children coming in, they are being attended to, it is really honorable and awesome. We want to appreciate that. So in Shadrakia, feel welcome. We have places uh, where you can visit. We have our staff here. They will direct you. But we want you to enjoy the parents who have brought children here. Ensure that they are checked. And I know all the services will be given to you this day. I am looking forward, we have already started, and I'm looking forward to the, a very successful day uh, up to the time we end the day. Thank you, and feel welcome, and let's say, uh, do the needful, because as the parents come in, as the community comes in, we are seeing there is great need to give service to these uh, children who need our attention uh, in the various ways that we are doing. Thank you very much and uh, uh, feel welcome to Shadrach Kimalen Secondary School. And before I sit down, we have our chairman of the board, our manager of the school who is with us. I would want him to come forward to also just greet uh, the ones, uh, all of us, the visitors, the partners, and uh, the other guests, and uh, our DO, and uh, the parents, and the children. Mr. Mbato is our chairman, he's around. Please welcome and give uh, a word of welcome to our visitors today. Thank you. Uh, thank you for all our visitors. Again, I'm really happy to see you. It's a privilege for us to host you. We're really, really proud of you and happy to have you here. My name is uh, Ben Bato. I'm the board chairman. But apart from that, uh, I'm also a community leader. So in our work, we work very closely with the administration and everybody else. Uh, Chief Kingori, we are always uh, communicating on many, many forums. Yeah, so thank you again. I'd like to really, really appreciate uh, Madam Dio for taking her time to come with us. Uh, Madam uh, Pauline, uh, Mr. Sam, Unicaf, thank you very much. And everybody else, I may not really mention your names, but uh, you know this place, uh, the catchment uh, of this school is mainly from Kibra. And as you may know, uh, there are always a lot of challenges in those type of uh, settlements. Uh, we have uh, education challenges, we have drugs challenges, we have crime challenges, all of them uh, combined together. So anything that can help to improve the community is really, really appreciated. From just a simple thing like a talk, to guide, to, or to, 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 to build or something to really, really appreciate it. So again, you are really, really welcome. I don't want to give you a long lecture and a long talk about uh, our school, but you are welcome anytime. If there's a way you can really uh, contribute to us, the school, to us, the community, and to us, the, uh, the students, we'd really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Madam Shalom. Teachers. We need to know them just in case. 
you want to inquire uh, on anything about the school or you want to get something, uh, I would like them to come over very fast. The teachers are here today to work with the team that is around. Please, Mr. Kuloba and the others. So I'll ask them just to greet. Thank you, Madam. Our visitors, welcome to our school. And this is Jane Kubai, the Deputy Principal of Kalifornia. Thank you, Madam Principal, for the opportunity. Our visitors, Karibu Nisana and good morning. My name is Purity. I teach in this school, English and Literature. We are happy to see UNICAF. We are sure of transition of our students. So, Mr. Sam, please, before you go, do something. Thank you for coming. Okay, thank you, Madam Principal, for giving us this opportunity to introduce ourselves. Okay, I'm Mr. Kuloba David. I'm a teacher here of mathematics and physics, and I'm glad to be here for this day with the sensitization. And we know that the Kibra community will be helped greatly at the end of the day. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, we now feel free. Thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, and as we proceed, Tafadali, make sure that the kids are going to drink. Uh, and again, Kiono Mtoto and Loita around, please make sure they, they get the necessary assistance. Also, make sure the kids enjoy themselves. To on a PlayStation app. As we proceed, kindly let the kids enjoy themselves so that we have a smooth transition of our program. So, moving in, kindly allow me to welcome the director, Mali Therapy Center, Madam Pauline, to grace so that we can proceed on with this. Karibu sana, Madam Pauline. But uh, I'm glad that all of us were able to show up. Okay, uh, the National Council, this is your day. No? Kise, this is your day. We are all here to learn about autism. We are all, okay. And my guests behind the can they ensure this? So we are all here to learn about autism. It is World Autism Awareness Day. I think all of us here have a story behind them, and that is why we are here. So our agenda for this day was to make sure that persons with disability in Cuba have been registered by the National Council of Persons with Disabilities and also by KISS because they hold different mandates. So before I go on, I would like to invite the people who have supported us in this journey to say a word or two and just to explain why they are here, why they are here to uh, come with their organizations and why autism or any disability is important to them. I will start with Missing Child Kenya, Madam Miriam. Please, let's come and say a word. Thank you. Mko Salama. Uh, my name is Miriam Amunyendo. I run a non-profit organization called Missing Child Kenya. At Missing Child Kenya, we coordinate with the community for search, trace, and reunification of uh, missing, displaced, and lost and found children. 
And in our day-to-day -day work, we have partnered with uh, Mali Autism Awareness Centre over the years because one of the children who are um, disadvantaged when it comes to going missing are children with uh, who are differently abled on the autism spectrum and other issues. These are children who, if found by a good Samaritan, may not be in a position to explain themselves better so that they can be united with family faster. And those are some of the things that we do in terms of reaching out to the community, making the community aware that we are here to assist. We have a toll-free number, 0800-22-3344, that we can be reached on, and we'll be able to assist a parent in terms of, sometimes it's very hectic, you can be here in Kibra, your child has gone missing, you cannot be in the whole of Nairobi at the same time. So we help you put this information out, share it with all the necessary government, uh, private sector, other non-profit partners, so that at this point I tell you, Mama, Baba, don't move so far. Nimeangalia kwa children's home hii area, mtoto bado hajapatikana. Nimeangalia na police stations hapa, nimeangalia kwa chief, nimeangalia kwa nyumba kumi, mtoto hajapatikana. And what I'd like to do today is just to um, thank everyone for being here because you are here because you are part of the solution in keeping our children safe. And it takes us all to do anything. I always tell people, even at Mali Autism Awareness Center, in the different uh, um, interactions that you do, it is not us, it is you, the community, that help us in doing what we do. And so as we mark World Autism Awareness Day, I would just like to say, um, Pongera for everyone who steps into the gap, to fill into the gap to support our children, and continue with God's blessings. Asante. Uh, missing child Kenya and I think all of us have seen the flyers going around she's doing an amazing job in helping us to find uh, children or even adults that are lost I think all of us have at one time or the other been able to uh, what is it called forward a flyer that has missing child Kenya so that is the case of missing child Kenya and we are doing and uh, She's doing a great job and I can say the, our government has also supported her in a big way just by helping her find, by helping, giving her uh, maybe security when they are going to look for these children. Thank you so much, Vivian. So next I'm going to call Mr. Dawafula, our national coordinator for National Council of Persons with Disability. Thank you. Um, as we have had a um, cordial with our fella, uh, county coordinator, National Council for Persons with Disabilities, Nairobi County. But I have my other colleagues who I wish to invite. They say hi before I say what I have. Uh, I'll invite my colleagues from National Council of Persons. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Nasra Mohamud, and I'm the deputy coordinator for NCPWD in Nairobi County. I'm happy to be here today to be part of the World Autism Awareness Creation Day, and I want to thank uh, Mali Therapy Services for you know hosting us and uh, sponsoring the, the assessment of persons with disabilities. So mainly today we have uh, the team from uh, medical uh, assessment who are doing the assessment for the children and also the adults with uh, disability. And it's through this process that the persons with disabilities will be registered for their cards. So mainly that's what we've come to do. I don't want to mention so many things. My senior is here, but I just want to say I'm happy to be here today. Thank you. Come to government, I'll say a few things. Uh, as as a council, uh, our business is to promote and protect the right for personal disability and our business is to take care of all disability including our brother and sister who have autism. Uh, on a such a day, when you observe such a day, 
we always look at the journey, where we are come from and where we are headed. As a council, our interest is that every person with ability get registered and get recognized by the government so that we can plan for every body who has a disability and who have so many disabilities and each disability comes with its own challenges. Now, as a council, uh, we have another program and all our programs are meant to empower our persons with disability. We believe in empowering our persons with disability. And one of the most important programs is education. We give our children with disability opportunity to go and acquire education. And we don't do a lot. You know, government cannot achieve its objective by doing it. Our they are doing alone. So we appreciate the effort, the resources that we get from other partners. We are very grateful for Money Therapy Centre for coming and help us to achieve objective. In fact, what we are doing, what they are doing is the work of the government. But we cannot do everything. So we, when we get able partners like Mali, we appreciate that we are helping us to achieve our objective. Generally, uh, as my colleague has said, we want to ensure that all children with ability who are here, they get registered, and it's important for everybody to, 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 to be registered. We mobilize a team of doctors from Bagate, that they are here to do assessment and other things, so that everybody who come here, whether you are a child with autism or any other disability, want to ensure that everybody gets registered. Uh, allow me to invite our chief officer for social development for county here yet to Nairobi. He's representing the minister in charge of social development. Karebo Bwana, chief officer. Good dispute. And all the time. Uh, my name is Ajoy Mutusa. Chief Officer in charge of social services, Nairobi County. And I'm here uh, to represent my boss, who is the CEC in charge of uh, talents, uh, skill development, and care. This travel is not able to be with us, uh, Brian Mulama. And so I'm here to join all those good people of this county who have set up this day and I want to appreciate uh, Mali, uh, the organization that has uh, uh, supported this day so that we are able to meet here. And I also want to confirm that as a county, we are very, very attentive to matters uh, children, to matters that affect children. We also support <coughs> vulnerable children, including children with uh, autism, including children that are burdened in the streets. Uh, we also support families that become dysfunctional because of uh, issues of drugs. We also support members and children in our communities and in our society that are affected by drugs and lately we are having programs to control pornography within our families and uh, the communities at large. So you find that as a county we are gearing ourselves towards uh, putting in place very serious uh, uh, programs that will see us collaborate with all those people who are represented here. As my colleague from the national government has said, they cannot do everything. As a county government, we have a role to play. NGOs have a role to play. The churches have a role to play. And more importantly, the families, the family setups have a very big role to play when it comes to these issues of children that are challenged. 
And I also want uh, to agree with many and also to raise concerns about there are so many parents or there are a number of parents that get children or children, their children are born with the problems or issues or challenges and the best thing they do is to hide them. That is not the best thing. The best thing is to get the children to the right people who can assist them. With us, you can see we have the, the national government and what we used to call the provincial administration or the administration team. If you come forward and see your chief, if you come forward and see your uh, assistant uh, county commissioner, if you come forward and see your deputy commissioner, county commissioner, you will be able to get support. If you come to our offices, any of our offices, in the sub-counties here in Kibra, if you go to Madare, if you go to any of our sub-counties, if you come to our offices in Nairobi, at the CBD, City Hall, and you ask to be assisted, you have a problem, you have a child who has a problem, that will be done. And wait. Uh, finally, I also want to inform uh, people who are celebrating with us today that as a county government, we have set aside a whole department that is dealing with gender issues and uh, or gender mainstreaming issues. We are also having the same dealing with uh, people or uh, PWDs, people living with disabilities, and we take very, very, very serious. Uh, we give very serious attention to these matters, and I want to assure all the partners who are here today that our very able governor, uh, His Excellency Johnson Sakaja, is committed to working with all the groups that are here and elsewhere in making sure that our children, those who have challenges, are vulnerable in the society, including the ones that are living with autism or are born with that problem, that they get help, they get assisted, and that's why you have been told our doctors, this hospital in Bagavi is run by the county, you've been told they are here working on that. And finally, I want to state two things before I close my speech. One, just to understand how serious we are about supporting children who are vulnerable. <coughs> just this year, less than six months since the governor came to office, we were able to issue bursaries of more than one billion to children who are not able to access secondary education. Those are bursaries and scholarships for four years. We are paying for four years for children who cannot be able to pay uh, school fees. We are also assisting parents who cannot be able to afford the full amount and we are giving what we are calling bursaries. And every year we are going to be giving not just one billion. Next year it might be more than that. Given that since the county started in 2013, it has only been able to give three billion. But just one year, the governor, one six months, the, the new governor being in office has been able to give one billion. So you can see where we are going. We target to even get to more than four billion within the five years. The other thing is, uh, as a county, we found that the issue of rehabilitation of uh, people affected by drugs was not being taken seriously. In a very short while, we are in the process of setting a rehab center for drug addicts, the first in the county by a county government in this county of Nairobi. It will be up and running by end of July. We should be having one, and we 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 expect by end of the five years we are going to have a few others running in different counties or sub counties sorry so and coming with that it's going to be uh, we are going to also start a mobile clinic for drug addicts that we we'll have a van going around different sub counties in a, in a in, in a given schedule so that we can be able to treat 
and rehabilitate. We are not just treating people affected by drugs. It's a whole program where we are going to, to rescue them, uh, rehabilitate them, reintegrate them, and re-socialize them back to the society, and they become useful people in our society. So with those few remarks, I want to say thank you very much for the invitation that you had extended to our county, and I feel very much a part of you, and we continue to work together, and I promise that the county of Nairobi is going to work with the national government and all the other people who are involved in supporting these vulnerable children and uh, people in the society and also confirm that we also support the aged. There are aged people who are vulnerable and they have been abandoned by their families. We have a home for the aged that we take care of the aged. Thank you very much. God bless you. I take in opportunities. So when our governor was vying for office, he promised that he was going to have to set up 17 facilities for autism. So I would like you to send this message to him, and this I was sent by our parents, that he should give us a table, a seat at that table, because we are the ones who know what is needed in those facilities, and uh, we are ready to support him in any way, just to make sure that uh, his plan to have 17 facilities is achieved in the five years in office. Thank you very much. Uh, recognize the presence of the head of OT in Kenya. It's called Lincoln Kabane Karibusana. Yes. So, as we continue with our program, I would like to invite uh, Sam from UNICAF come and talk to us. And there's already a challenge before you. Uh, Purity has said they want partnerships. For that introduction, uh, about the challenge, I will definitely respond to that elaborately and, and not now. But uh, my name is Samson Kithika. I am the business development manager for uh, UNICAF Kenya. And uh, I am so glad to be here today. Uh, as an organization, we provide scholarships to create access to higher education. Uh, and for the working adults, we also provide uh, short professional courses where you can be able to upskill, reskill, retool, and so on. And so, as an organization, we are here because we engaged and came across Mali therapy. And as an organization, we are committed to engaging the community and providing support to any uh, organization that is impacting the community positively. And so what Mali therapy is doing is a very noble thing. And as UNICAF, we are committed to work with you. And uh, like we said, we promised and we are going to be working with you even as we move forward. So Asante Nisana, I will not say much. Karibu. And uh, let me see. Madam Nekoye, do you want to say something? Please. Thank you, Pauline. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Ruth Nekoe. I work uh, with a company called Liquid Intelligent Technologies. Uh, we basically we are an internet studies provider, and we have been uh, working closely with schools. I personally look after schools projects, and for us, uh, in this program for special needs learners, we have been supporting uh, our free connectivity to as our CSR program to uh, schools with special needs learners. So currently we have connected 17 uh, schools within Nairobi County uh, and we also have uh, been working with uh, Conversaries in that program and also apart from that we are working with other stakeholders in, uh, to provide a national plan of action for online child protection. So this is, uh, this is what I can only say that we are only providing connectivity and that is our support and also doing, or hoping that you can connect more uh, special needs uh, schools because we believe that uh, ICT integration in schools will improve their uh, quality of education. Thank you. 
the next person I would like to invite is uh, our sub county director for education. And uh, I think the parents who can hear me can attest to this that getting a place, so a placement for our children is one of our biggest challenges. You know? So doors are always locked. Any school. Most of them, uh, I don't really blame them well with time. At first, when uh, I got my son's diagnosis, diagnosis, I hated the schools. But now, with time, I've come to understand that they do not have capacity. They do not know what to do with our children. They will, even if you push it, they will let your child come in, and then your child will just stay. Because our educational system has not embraced our children. So, Madam, I know <laughs> this is not how you expected it, but please tell us what you're doing. There are so many parents here, as much as they are having their assessment going on, I'm very sure they're listening. What are you doing to help us? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everyone. Is it afternoon? Yeah, it's afternoon. So, yeah, my name is Yus Marinjoku. I'm the subcounty director with the Shami Kibra. Uh, let me say, uh, probably since 2000, the year 2000, uh, the education system moved from, uh, from uh, integration to what we call inclusive education. And we started training teachers on inclusive education because we expect that every child with disability should go to the nearest school and learn. And I must say it has been a milestone uh, for education because quite a good number of teachers have been trained. Uh, I know with disability it's not easy, especially when you, in a, you go in a school and there are no teachers trained in the handling of those learners. Um, uh, the thing is, uh, even if they go to those schools, uh, they require special teachers sometimes. And therefore, I know that is why they may reject uh, children with disabilities, but we are always encouraging them. But you and I know, uh, for extreme cases of disabilities, we might require special units. And uh, for autism in particular, it is so special. It is such a special disability. And in Nairobi we have uh, City Primary, where they, they admit uh, learners with autism. But we need more of those units uh, in as many schools as possible, uh, because those children are there and they need special help. And they need to go through the system. And we need to accept them as a school and even in society. I must say it's, it's been a milestone for the disability, children with disabilities, because uh, the society is embracing them as time goes by, and it is through such um, organi organizations that we are able to uh, to let the, 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 the world know that they are there and they matter. So as an education, for us, we embrace them. Even if you went to an education office uh, for help, uh, I'm sure something can be worked out. In Kibra sub county, we have one special school, not special school as such, but with a special unit, like uh, the Joseph Kangete Primary School, which has a unit for the deaf. Uh, and uh, I must say, it has quite a number of children, and they, they normally even do up, uh, go up to KCP. Of course, there are those uh, deaf children, uh, with, they have multiple disabilities. But I'm happy that we have had volunteers eh, from various organizations and maybe, yeah, organizations who normally come in to assist our teachers because you realize the teachers with, uh, who have gone through the training are not many. Like, for example, in that school we have only two and uh, sometimes some cases require one-on-one -on -one teaching. Uh, but I'm happy even with the government, with the curriculum, with the CBC, the current system uh, it is the best system because it uh, embraces everyone with cbc we have uh, um, uh, our our learners with disabilities are uh, go through what is called individualized education program 
and those with extreme disabilities, they will not, they will, uh, they will not take the same paths like those ones uh, in quotes no more. They have, they, they, they have their, their line. They are taken care of in CBC, including where they do vocational training. You can imagine uh, giving an examination to a child with disability, for example with autism, you give him a KCP paper and probably that child is not even able to sit and write the name and it doesn't help much. But with CBC, we are taking care of learners with disabilities and they go through assessment, two different assessment according to their disabilities uh, and they are well taken care of. Mine is to thank the organizers of this program uh, because it is uh, it is quite it is quite good for our parents especially especially for those parents in Kibra uh, those those parents in slums who maybe most of the time are going through financial difficulties and they don't know even what to do it is overwhelming for them to have the child and to go to work and therefore if they can have somebody like you holding their hand uh, it goes a long way into assisting them, even for them to accept the children. At first, parents don't even accept their denial that they have children with special needs, but uh, by and by, if they have support from us, they accept and they know how to handle their children, and therefore, they have to relieve them to even get assistance for their children, and therefore, uh, we are able to integrate them in the society and in, uh, and in schools and they feel that they are, uh, they are a part of the society. So mine is to thank the organizers of this, and I wish it would go a long way. And um, my dream is probably in our secondary schools, if we could have, uh, especially the day schools, if we could have units, established units, that would take care of the extreme cases of disabilities, so that so that parents from around the schools can be able to comfortably take their children to school and they learn. Thank you very much and may God bless you. I have forgotten from our partners who would like to say something before our DO can come and uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I am wished you. <laughs> yes, but I think I'll invite the chief to come and say something, then maybe we can go ahead. But before that I would like to say what autism is. You know? Why are we here? We are here for autism awareness. What is autism? Autism is a neurological disorder. It is not a disease. Yeah? So, uh, it is not like... Autism is a bit different from any physical disability because if my son comes here today, you will not know he has autism because he will run around with everyone else, he might come there. So what will make you know there's a problem is because he likes soda, so he will come and take your soda and drink it and actually drink all the Fanta oranges on this table. So he will expect a neurotypical child to maybe ask, right? But that is one sign of autism. Autism on the face is like this. You talk to a child and they don't respond to you. Call their name and some of you might say, oh, this child is rude, this child is ignoring me. No, it's the face of autism. Autism is a child who cannot sit still, a child who likes to toy, a child who likes holding their ears when they hear loud noise, you know, because to them, one clap is like 10 times louder because their senses are heightened. Autism is uh, no speech or speech delay. Autism is, uh, it comes with also related, other related disorders, you know, writing, walking, it can be coupled with Down syndrome, it can be coupled with uh, cerebral palsy, so, we need to really understand why we are here. Why are we here? It's because...
Okay. So as I was saying, so that is I want you to know autism. Autism is that child that you see in the estate who likes climbing on your car and you don't like it. When you feel like this child is very spoiled. Kaziaka na pena kuda panda wakuta screaming, crying all the time, you know, and uh, for no reason. So it's not for no reason. It's because autism is like being in a shell that you are not able to bring yourself out of. You want to be able to communicate, but you cannot communicate because you have no speech and you have not been educated on how to help yourself. So at Mali Therapy Center, we focus on three things. Early intervention, integration, and inclusion. So early intervention is very important to us. Why? Because we have noticed that any child from the age of 18 months can be assessed for autism. And can you imagine if you are able to find that your child has autism at 18 months? Can you imagine what you can do? There are so many therapies out there that you can um, expose your child to. And then there is hope that your child will be able to live a uh, normal uh, life like any other child. Because remember, autism has no cure. So there is a lot of stigma in the society because uh, Kitambo, what you want to say, Amirogwa, Wazimu, you know. But that is not true. Right now, we are more aware. We are talking. We are able to talk about this, and that is why we are here. We want the reason why we are starting this is to start a, an April drive of autism in Kibra. Today is just the launch, but from Tuesday we have our champions here from Kibra. There are people who have worked in Kibra, there are people, there are youth leaders in Kibra that have agreed to work with Mali Therapy Center to have door-to-door -door campaigns so that they can go knocking on every door and say, do you have a child with a disability? Do you have a child with autism? Can we not, can we register them? So we also have our other partner called Al Hayri Foundation, they are not here today. And they have opened their doors to us. They have a free clinic in Kibra, and every Friday, from this coming Friday, we are going to be sending everyone that we have registered from the door-to-door -door registrations to Al Hayr. And there, they are still going to meet the people from the National Council of Persons with Disabilities. They are going to meet a team from Kise who are going to do the registration. Why are we insisting on this registration? so that our county government can be able to plan for us, you know. And we also want even the sub-county director of Kibra to say this is the number of disability we have here. We have cerebral palsy, we have any organization even from outside camps and say we are here to support, we are doctors, we are here to support people with cerebral palsy. Very easy for Madame Rosemary to say these are the numbers, these are the people. And we are just starting in Kibra. In August, we are going to go to Madari. You know, that is our that is our way of giving back, uh, giving back to the society at Mali Therapy Centre. Because if someone did not hold my hand when I got the diagnosis, then I don't know. I would not be here. So this is what we are doing. We are supporting parents. We have support groups. And uh, we are, have a membership of around 550 right now. And most of the parents are still streaming in from the support group. And they are happy with what we do. They are parents from all over the country. So they are calling us, they are telling us, come here, come here. And uh, that is what we are doing. And we are hoping that uh, the officials in all these organizations, when we come to you for help, we are going to stand up stand in the dark and support us. So before I go, I can talk about autism the whole day. I'd like to invite Mr. Lincoln. I'm sorry, I think I misrepresented you. Please, just come and say a word to us. Thank you.
Pauline, I think we didn't give her a good clap. Yes. She, she has actually talked very nice things. I almost thought she's a doctor because of the things she has talked. So my name is uh, Kabala Lincoln. I know you also mispronounced the name. I'm not head of OT in Kenya, but my background is occupational therapy. I work with Nairobi State County Government, where I'm the team lead for rehabilitation and disability services. So the team you see there doing the assessment is my team. Uh, uh, and therefore I want to say just one or two things. Number one, congratulate you for the good work you're doing. And number two, also tell you that they're behind you in the work that you're doing. I, I, I and our fuller, we sit here, are also members of another group called Technical Working Group on Disability, which has very many partners. And we want to welcome you there also, because at the end of the day, you cannot achieve alone. So normally, what we do is uh, we meet once every quarter, and each partner comes and tells us, what are you doing on that side? You want the left to know what the right is doing, isn't it? Rather than somebody doing something small there, another one doing something small there, Mr. Getao there is also a member of, of that committee. And uh, at the end of the day, when we have these days, we also come and plan together. So what happens is that one party will say, I will give one tent, the other partner says, I'll hire chairs, the other partner says, I'll buy you for the children. So what becomes very easy. Like last year, 3rd of December, we did a huge celebration marking um, the UN Day for Persons with Disabilities. And it was quite successful because partners came together and each person played a small role, small role until the day was uh, achieved. Now, as a county, we have a responsibility of seeing these children with autism. We have facilities that uh, uh, attend to them. We are trying to see how can we have especially children with disabilities diagnosed early enough so that they are also referred. And one of the things we are doing is also to educate and sensitize the community of volunteers. We work very, very closely with them because children live in the society. Some parents have either hidden their children or some of them do not even know that uh, help exists for them or they can be supported. So we train our health, um, I mean community of volunteers we train our nurses, our medical personnel, you know, it is as if that as long as you're in a dashboard, you know what disability is or you can be able to, to sensitize or pick disability, no. So we've been training and doing a lot of sensitization and awareness. So we, we, we congratulate you for the work you're doing. I, we hope next year we can be a part of this celebration. We hope that that other bigger group can also be a part of this. In fact, if you are there, the whole of this place will be full. Otherwise, thank you very much. Thank you everyone for attending. Let us support these children. The only thing she forgot to tell you is that if you Google, you will find that there are even presidents who have had a history of autism. Apart from all the things she has said, there are important people that have had what? Autism. So that tells you that if we give intervention early, these children can become very, very important people in life. Thank you very much and God bless you. Dear yeah, Chief, please, the program is yours. Abalizen <laughs> Wotet. Abalizen. God is good. And all the time, Majina Yangu, Nipita Kingwari Wairimu, in charge of golf course, Mahali Tuko Saiz. Bosi Yangu, ACC Woodley, Madam Janet, Chief Officer, Social Development, Calm Government, Mwalimu Mku, Shadra Kimara, Mwana Kamati, Kamati ya Shadra, Kiongozi kutoka Unica, uh, Sub County Education uh, Director, na shikadao wengine wote ya bau mkuwa hapa siku ya leo. Sita kuwa mameli kwa sababu mkubwa wangu wako hapa, lakini ataka nishukue fulisa hii, ni walike lazimi katika 
area hii ya golf course alafu mpatie nafasi ni sema ya kwamba tunafurahi kwamba wakati unasaidia watoto hata kwetu kikazi kama administrators pia tunasaidiwa kwa sababu zile shida ambazo ukikuja kwa ofisi yetu huwa zinatatuliwa na wenzetu i'm happy about that so nitamwalika mkubwa wangu aweze kuendelea Nisaidi nikatukua muda mrefu sana na pengine akona mengi ya kutueleza siku ya leo. Karibu mada. Thank you chief and uh, uh, our host today madam and your board chair uh, Mali Therapy Center director and all protocols observed. Good afternoon. Yes, uh, Mahali Tukolo, this is Kubra Sub-County, Woodley Division, Golf Course Location, Golf Course Sub-Location. And I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all. And uh, I would really like to appreciate uh, Madam Director Mali Therapy Center for such a noble activity. And uh, when Jennifer came to our office to seek help on how they were going to go about this function because uh, it's our responsibility as a national government to be aware of all the activities that take place in our sub-county and uh, I was really impressed because uh, this is giving back to the society and uh, we really appreciate the kind of work that you're doing and all the other partners and the sponsors and I want to assure you that uh, the office of the Deputy County Commissioner, that is Kupa, uh, Sub County, is really willing and uh, going to support you in all the activities. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm aware that uh, today is just an awareness uh, day, and uh, throughout the month, you'll be having uh, activities that is going to run. And I want to assure you that our office is going to give you the support that you want. And um, I uh, also want to thank the parents Wazazi ambao wameleta watoto wao hapa Thank you so much I know that uh, bringing up a child with special needs is not very easy And uh, I want to assure you of our support Na wale wazazi ambayo Kona watoto ambayo wakona special needs I know that uh, sometimes it is not very easy You need a lot of uh, care You need a lot of encouragement na hao watoto pia wanataka a lot of love sindio so i want to encourage wazazi and especially i know sometimes mothers have been uh, left with responsibilities of taking care of children with special needs i want also to and i've seen a number of fathers and i want to really congratulate you this is a responsibility for all of us si ya mama peke yake wakati mwingi hata i'm sure mkienda hapa kibera uh past slums you will find that most mothers ambayo wako na watoto with special needs wameachiwa the responsibility na baba labda alienda wakati aliona mtoto hayuko sababu akasema yeye hiyo si yake but i think it is a responsibility for each and every one of us nobody applies to be a special needs child i think uh, it is a responsibility for each and every one of us if you know a parent please show them love Sometimes that an ingumu uh ingumu mzazi kupata a caregiver ambayo aneza che uyo mtoto. Sometimes you have to unacha kazi do kuju uchungo uyo mtoto. So I want to uh, really encourage each and everyone of us. This is something that it affects all of us. I'm sure at any one point unajua mtoto ambayo upon a special needs. Let's give them the moral support that they want, let's give them the, the love, the care, the support that they want. And um, all the partners are Kise, there is also the PW, uh, NCP, what is it? Uh, NCPWD, Madiwa Sasa Mili Mkali, it's a Tenzi Maneno Ina, Ina Kwa Mbukia Kutu. Yes, so uh, thank you very much because I know that you have, uh, uh, there is a very good uh, need for you to register those uh, children with special needs so that they are able to get the support that the government has. So thank you very much and uh, 
uh, I know most of the people that are at Abuja, you know, being a Sunday, kuna watu ambao wameka kanisa, and I'm sure they'll still come. So let's uh, let's keep. I'm sure we are still here. We will go to Abuja. We will uh, direct them to the relevant services. And I know that with early intervention, pale watoto wabawa na patikana. I'm told that uh, before watoto wabawa kuna utizimu na pati two years. Is it around between 18 months and? So I want to encourage also parents. Uh, if you notice that your child has some issues with development, come on, notice that you have a father who is 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 Thank you very much and uh, I'm also here to learn when I was coming with Ukuja na Watoto Wangu, Wameenda Mahali, and I also wanted them to come and interact na wale watoto wengine. I want them also to know that these children with special needs, they are also very normal children and they deserve to be loved. Wanafa kujua vile kuwa ukelesha. I know kuna wazazi ambao wanapata issue sana. Mtoto ameenda shule lakini the other children they are running away from them. So it is also important and uh, that is what I wanted also for this day. I want my children to come and interact with other children. Wajue, they are children with special needs and they are just normal children. So thank you and God bless. Then all of us, try to expose your own children to the children with uh, disabilities. We also, these days we have come up with a new name, we call them the twice exceptional children. So try to expose your children to them. Show them that there's no special society, that this one society that we all live in, we have to know how to exist together peacefully. So I will call uh, the administrator for Mali, Quinta, to come and give a word of thanks and to tell us where our guests are moving to from uh, this point on. Quinta. I'd like to thank all of you. First of all, my name is Quinta. I am from Mali Drive Center for Children with Autism. I'd like to thank all of you for coming, especially on short notice. It was quite short. And um, I really appreciate your presence here. Our partners, UNICAF, uh, National Council for Persons with Disability, KSA, um, Ruth. I emailed you very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for addressing the occasion. And also the parents who are here, some of them came as early as 7.30. Yes, that is how much they value this. And I'd like to also continue to kuahimiza. Please, let's continue spreading the word. The month is still long. The whole month is an autism awareness month. Let's at least learn one thing and share the same thing you've learned with someone who does not know, who has not who has not, who does not understand what autism is. Let's spread the word. We are still here in Kibra for weekly clinics at uh, Akai Medical Center. Our champions, our autism champions will be around. So when you meet them, please say hi to Masalamu. And also please register so that you can, the uh, assessment can continue. Our team, the team, the team, team will still be available to help. Yes. And also Unica, thank you so much for coming. Madam Dio, Bona Chief, thank you. And last but not least, Madam Principal for Shadrach. Thank you. The center, the, the school is really beautiful. Your staff are really kind. And what do you want me to say here, yes, sir? Yes, and your, your gate man. He's been very resourceful. Please. Yes, thank you so much, my team, for being hands on, and my director. Yes, please remember the whole month, what is in awareness? Sawa sawa? Our agenda is early intervention, inclusion, and integration. Sawa sawa? Aye, ah, for our VIPs, our guests. Nimewakaribisha kukunya strungi 
the Madazi. <laughs> At the staff room, Madam Principal, you guide us. Yes. Asante ni sana. Oh, before I forget, Sibyl, Aida. Thank you so much. She's uh, she also came in late. She also when I called her, she was like, I must come. I must come. Me. Oh, okay. Can you sana? Our MC. The entertainer. Yes. As uh, our our we give our guest strong gift. At least Anessa to dance she can do Okay. So, uh, Hi, we are doing introduction. DJ, let's go. Shule ya Kimbili Secondary School. Let's go. 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 Let's Okay, Internationally, we are marking the World Autism Day. So we decided to congregate, congregate here so that we can create awareness about uh, autism. And we are giving services where we have people giving therapy. We have uh, a team from the health sector and National Council for Persons with Disabilities doing assessment of uh, children with autism and any other person that will come for purposes of registration with the National Council for Persons with Disabilities. So can you explain us more about autism? Because other people they don't know what is the meaning of autism. Autism is uh, basically a neurodevelopmental disorder. We call it autism spectrum disorder. Because what we see with these children is that uh, they have a problem with communication, they have a problem with uh, social interaction, they have a problem with concentration. So in many cases, it actually interferes with the way they relate with people. And at the end of, of it all, you find uh, that they require some support in terms of uh, showing them how to interact, um, calming them down. Sometimes they can become almost what uh, a layman would call destructive because uh, they are not able to concentrate, they are not able to relate well with other children of the same age. So, tell us, what, is the, what do you participate in this program? Okay, in this program, uh, my background is occupational therapy. One of the, one of the, one of the interventions that are given, is given to children with autism is occupational therapy. In my docket, 
which I said is a rehabilitation and disability to services. I have uh, under me occupational therapist, physiotherapist, and orthopedic technologist. So these children with autism, when they go to the hospital, when they see either a neurodevelopmental uh, pediatrician or a doctor, then they are referred for occupational therapy where they are done what we call sensory integration, and they are given other therapies that ensure them that they to start uh, having development. They acquire development, they acquire skills, they also train the, what we call speech therapy so that at the end of the day we are also able to start speaking. And then number two, it is my department also that does the assessment. So we do what we call medical assessment and categorization so that once we do that assessment, then this, uh, this, these children can now be registered with the National Council for Persons with Disabilities. Okay, so can you tell, can you give us our con, our, your, con, your contact as if when other people need your help or any other thing? Yes, my contact, one, one of the things I want to say is that uh, as a county supported, we have about 15 facilities that are giving services to children with disabilities, especially occupational therapy and physiotherapy. My contact is 0722 uh, 308 and I would want to encourage my parents, people who think that uh, they need help or they need support, they can always call us so that we can refer them to the nearest facility where they can be assisted and intervention can be given early. And I want to encourage parents, when you see that uh, a child has a, pro a problem, maybe they are not able, they are not uh, developing normally, please don't wait. Go to the nearest facility, tell your doctor that this child is not developing so that they can be, they can be assessed early enough and even when they require intervention, then that can be done. Because we say the earlier the intervention, the better the results. Okay, and how can we find your office? And wait. Our office is at uh, Nyayo's house, 10th floor. When you come to the what you call the county health office, you will be directed. That's where we are, 10th floor. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, as a county also, we are doing an, what you call an RRI, rapid, uh, in, an, what you call an RRI, 100 days, when we can do something that can make a difference. And one of the things we have realized is that people with disabilities do not know their rights which are enshrined in the legal documents that exist. So we want to come out and talk to persons with disabilities, we show them what are their rights. We, we also have an act, uh, what we call the Naoki Second County Government uh, Peter this Act. So we want to go out and educate people and tell them that the right, their rights are there and their legal documents that protect them. Thank you very much. George Mutiso. Uh, I work for Nairobi County Government as the Chief Officer in charge of Social Services. I'm here today to represent uh, the CCM for Talent, Skills Development and Care. And today's event is very important to us because as a county we are prioritized uh, managing and uh, supporting children who are, who are vulnerable in the, in, in the, in the county starting with the children who have been abandoned in the streets, children who are born with a problem, like uh, autism. And, uh, as you know, there are, many other, there are many other problems that we have in the county affecting our human population. So we also have uh, the aged, so we give care to the aged, <coughs> especially the ones who have been abandoned by their, their people, and we have a home for the aged. For the vulnerable children, we have uh, four homes for street children who we rescue in the streets, we rehabilitate, we reintegrate and we socialize back to the society so that they can become responsible citizens. Thank you. So one minute please. Yes. So how do you help these people? This uh, organization? Yeah. Yes. We, we intend to help them by partnering with them. We have uh, a fully pledged uh, department that is dealing with gender and uh, people living with disabilities and we are, we are working very hard to mainstream their issues and the governor has actually set aside a full department with the chief officer who is dealing with that. So going forward, once it has a budget in the next financial year, there's going to be a lot of activities and as requested, we'll be asking the governor if they can set up uh, centers within or 
offices within the sub-county so that issues to do with autism and other PWDs can be looked at. So thank you. Annie. Okay, my name is Mariana Munyendo. I'm the founder and executive director at Missing Child Kenya. We run search, trace and education for missing children. We have a toll free line 0800 and the We are a community based service and services available for the community. Today being World Autism Awareness Day, we are happy to celebrate the part of this week to continue to share to the community the importance of identify our children, uh, identifying our children on the spectrum with special needs and the support they need. This is because at Missing Child Kenya, we encounter a lot of cases of missing children on the autism spectrum, among other special needs cases, and they are more vulnerable because they are not in a position to support themselves or give information that is helpful for them uh, in terms of reunification to the families. So we urge the community, the community remains our eyes and ears on the ground. Please support families of um, children um, with uh, special needs, differently abled children. Understand, uh, learn more about uh, autism and how you can be able to support a child, uh, a family, a community when it comes to a child on the autism spectrum. And together we can uh, keep our children safe. So as we mark this day, it's just to encourage the community again to uh, be supportive in terms of um, speaking up. Uh, registering uh, children uh, with the National Council of Persons with Disabilities, like that has happened today, to get a disability card and access to government services that will be uh, of help to them. Thank you. My name is Rosemary Njogu, I'm the Subcounty Director Education Program. Um, because there is a, an awareness program about autism. Uh, autism is a special need uh, amongst the, some of the children that we have in Kibra. We know that there are parents who have got autistic children and today's awareness day uh, is bringing out those that are already, already you know, uh, those are already known cases and those that are those that are not known cases, they have been encouraged to come and register today. And this is going to help our government in planning for children with disability. First of all, they will register. Therefore, it will be known even to our office as an education office that uh, they are in existence. And uh, the government will know their existence also, and therefore we will be able to cater for them. Um, uh, autism is a disability, but uh, it's quite uh, in its own category, unlike other disabilities. Uh, and uh, even in, uh, in our sub-county, we do not have uh, a school with a special need for disability. We know the government uh, advocates for education, that is called uh, inclusive education, whereby the learners with disabilities go to the school year by school. But uh, you may find that in these schools we do not have any teacher who has gone through special needs education, and therefore it may be difficult even to get an education. But I'm happy to move such uh, awareness, creation of awareness. Uh, it means that uh, our children have somewhere to to lean their shoulder on because it is through such organization whereby we can have them placed, we can have them see doctors, we can have them assessed, uh, even though the government uh, assesses the children through the year, uh, the year officers in every town, in every sub county, but also uh, children with special needs require support from uh, everyone who can be able to support them. And I must say we are grateful because uh, these children most of the time parents don't know what to do with them. It is expensive, they require resources. Uh, it is quite difficult for them and so they may not even be aware of what to do with their children. But uh, it is through such awareness that they are able even to learn how to handle their own children, how to take care of them and also how they can get they can be helped to access education because they are an important part of our society and therefore through the education they receive and in an intervention they receive they are able to be integrated in our society, in our communities and uh, live like everyone else. Thank you very much. Okay, my name is Yata Udogomodoni. I'm with the Nairobi County Government. Uh, the sector is uh, Glendine 
proximity. Uh, we are have been empowered to work on matters pertaining to person with disability in the county and we thank the, the, the office of the governor, Sakaja, who also went on to create a full fledged department so that it can cater issues of gender and inclusivity, including persons with disability. And this has empowered us to serve the people with disabilities well. Soon we, we, we embarked on the CIDP in which we factor the issues of disability. Some of the issues that were factored in the CIDP include the governor's manifesto on creating uh, special units for children, which uh, he, he had uh, promised to his people they have been budgeted for, and so they will be rolled out once the budget is complete. We have also started an RNI, Rapid Research Initiative, on matters pertaining to PWD, and we intend to sensitize uh, persons with disabilities on their rights, uh, depending on uh, as, as provided for by various provisions of uh, legal, legal entities, such as uh, the Constitution, the National Council for Persons with Disability, the Nairobi County uh, PWD Act 2015, and uh, we'll be going to all uh, 10 uh, informal settlements and we'll be educating them about their rights so that uh, whatever rights that are provided for in those acts can be able to be provided unto them. Some of the issues that we want to take to them is including the services provided by the county, including uh, basic education. With the basic education, our schools are inclusive so that all the 230 schools that uh, public schools that we have in Nairobi are uh, disability friendly and only people who require education from early childhood education can access education at every location that uh, they are in. Second issue is about uh, its assistive devices. Nairobi County is offering assistive devices. So that for those who are needy, we continue to enlarge the budget so that we can be inclusive and we can reach as many needs as possible. The other issue is about bursaries. The county of Nairobi offered this year financial year a, a tune of one billion Kenya shillings to needy children and we want a large percentage of those persons with disability also to benefit. And our appeal is that they continue to apply or they apply directly in the office of the chief officer, uh, gender and inclusivity, so that we can have a data bank in which we can forward to relevant uh, department and their uh, the, uh, bursaries for secondary education can be catered for. There are also issues relating to businesses, opportunities and employment. The county offers 5% uh, employment opportunity as required by the law and we want persons with disability to apply any opportunity, every opportunity that is provided for by the county we visit the, the web for the Nairobi county and we will find these opportunities and once they apply they will be considered uh, with the rest of other beneficiaries finally we want to help in sensitization and assessments of those who are not registered by, uh, by the National Council for Persons with Disability. And we are calling all stakeholders, including mar marriage therapy and other NG NGOs represented uh, in this particular function to join us so that uh, we can do this our life together. Thank you very much. My name is Respa Kaisugi Micheni. I am an occupational therapist at Mari Therapy Center. I'm an occupational therapist handling children with autism. We try to help these children attain their fine motor skills, gross motor skills, activities of daily living that include toileting, feeding, clean bathing and also self-care. We also train these kids to be able to socialize with other kids and also we, we train these children on how to have a good concentration, attention span and eye contact. Never.